Bruce, back to you. So it's a kinder, gentler approach to one of the most dreaded exams in medicine. The PillCam colon is a bite-sized camera to help screen patients who have trouble with colonoscopies. The Portland Groover Clinic is the only one in Florida using this new technology. So how does it work? Dr. Chow and Filberto Sotolongo, who is a patient, join us now to talk more about this technology. Gentlemen, welcome to both of you. Good to have right. you here. Thank so you. the bottom line is that you'd still prefer to do a colonoscopy, but for someone where a colonoscopy is complete, is incomplete, mm -hmm. this is an alternative. That's, that's correct, uh, Bruce. So uh, colonoscopy, as you might have known, is uh, the second leading cause of cancer death. Colonoscopy is still the most effective way to screen for colon um, uh, because it can also, when you do a colonoscopy, you see a polyp, you cut it out. And polyps are precursor to cancer. So when you cut it out, you prevent cancer. But in a small amount of patients, a uh, small number of patients who cannot get a complete colonoscopy due to the colon being too long or it's very torturous and the endoscopist cannot go through uh, the entire colon, then colon peel cam offer a very good alternative um, for colon cancer screening. But we've got to understand that it's just good for the screening because essentially all you're doing is taking a picture correct. and should there be a polyp, you've got to do something more invasive that, that, anyway. That is correct. That's correct. And um, about 40% of patients who's over the age of 50 are more likely to have polyps at that time. So we're still trying to capture the other 60%. Gotcha. So tell me a bit about your story and, 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 and how this made a difference. It makes a big difference uh, because I feel relieved after a failed colonoscopy, you don't know what's inside you. So uh, going through this procedure, which, which is, was very little invasive, um, it makes me feel um, assured that I'm okay. The system, the uh, procedure was very simple. Swallowing the pill is no more difficult than swallowing a, a large pill that you normally do on, uh, on vitamins or whatever. And uh, the procedure went well. I'm very happy, very relieved that I'm okay after going through this test. But you, you still had to use the prep, basically the, the I call it the colonoscopy milkshake <laughs> that helps illuminate your colon, which would some, would, <laughs> some people will argue that maybe is the worst part. Actually, for, for most people, uh, it is the worst prep. Um, for this, you take half the prep the night before, and uh, the day of the procedure, you show up with, um, with the, the other half, you bring it in, and you ingest a pill, uh, which is actually not too big. Here, let me show you. Yeah. So this is the size of the pill. And uh, it's slot, slightly larger than a, a big vitamin pill. And when you ingest that uh, capsule, you also start drinking the second half of the prep solution. Mm -hmm. And as the pill travels through the GI tract, it will take thousands and thousands of images, uh, create a, a video uh, of your internal GI tract. And the patient will wear a unit on the outside, a belt on the outside, um, then the image from the capsule will be wi wirelessly transferred to the uh, monitor unit. Now, I know you're conducting a trial right now to see if, if maybe there's a, a wider practical application for this. Right. So currently, the colon peel cam is FDA approved only in cases of failed colonoscopy. Um, and in, in nationally, there's a study going on to see if this is a viable option as primary screening colonoscopy. And Bolin Groover um, will be one of the center to participate in this. And, and, and I guess your suggestion to others would be, look, this brought you peace of mind, so don't be afraid of it. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Right, gentlemen, thank you very much for being here. Appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Congratulations, by the way, on getting a clean bill of health. <laughs> for more information about the pill cam, you can visit BorlingGroover.com. There's a link on NewsForJax.com. Just look under the morning show page. And no, Stacey, you can't put your pictures on Shutterfly afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> you did a whole story on your colon, so why can't I? <laughs>